Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Live Michelle Tarot. How bees you? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing so well out there. I really, really do. Yeah. Okay, so. Pisces Lilith, this is going to be for you. Now, if you do not know what your Lilith placement is, please do check the link in the description box below for astrocharts.com. While you're down there, hit the like button. Okay, leave a beautiful comment. Put your, we want to see some positive comments in here. Get some good energy going. Ooh. Yes, Pisces Lilith. Okay. This like here. So we got, ooh. Four of them. I naturally expel and repel um, toxic energy. So uh, you definitely may have somebody or something toxic around you. Because that and I'm too holy for demonic energy popped out. So you got something around you or something that's with you that's not that don't need to be there. Something that's toxic. It could be a person. could be a thing. We'll get into it in a second. I have full control over the way I live my life, and I'm a magnet for prosperity. So it looks like here you're trying to attract some money just so you can, uh, you know, feel free here. You know, uh, you want to check out my magical money manifestations on my Shadow Subliminals channel. Uh, links in the description box below for that if you want to get the video or the audio. So either way it goes, get you some money, okay? Um, but I really do feel like you were trying to figure out how to... Take control of your life and not have all this negative energy, like, affect you. Like, I feel like even if you're not around the people, the energy is still affecting you. We're going to see what's going on here. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Feel the vibe and subscribe. Go and hit the like button. Leave a comment. Go and hit the like button. Leave a comment. Go check out the description down there. No, I know a lot of people do. I, I will take tips and donations if you are so willing to give it. I'm not going to, you know, whatever, beat you over the head with it. But I am going to, you know, hey, if you want to do that, I will definitely appreciate it. Trust me, you will be blessed. <laughs> uh, you see this over here? These people be be so pissed when they don't be having the energy, okay? You'll be blessed. We got two cards coming up for Pisces Lilith. Knight of Pentacles and Four of Swords. This is something that's taking you a long time to heal from. Um, if you guys don't know, Lilith is like your birth implant type thing. So it's like, um, I don't know how the best to put it. Like, it's your. It's like some. It's like your wounding, right? Is this in this context? This is your wounding. This is something that you were wounded for, for a very long time. And I feel like it's one of those things where you've been, you've internalized it now. That's what it is. You've internalized it, and so you don't even see it. You just see it as like a regular thing. Mm. Mm. Emperor card. So this could be a lot of toxic masculine uh, energy. This could just be a stoicism. This could be you not saying something because you're afraid that if you say something that, I don't know, it might actually heal something or it might do something. You see this one, they're meditating, okay? You can also check out my alignment for the assignment, uh, meditation. It's to get you spiritually aligned, medically, physically, everything. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Get your bones, your muscles, your chakras, everything aligned. Ground shaking. So what we got? What's the what's the emperor issue here? Mm, the magician. There we go. Okay. With the Knight of Wands and the King of Swords. So you're trying to be smart with man with your uh, sexual energy for once. This is because that King of Swords is intelligence and the Knight of Wands is that sexual energy, right? That one night stand. I feel like this is trying to be more um, intelligent with it or how you use it because now you're understanding that that is, you know, sexual energy, manifestation energy, creative energy, all that energy is like the same. Um, I wouldn't say like source, but it, it, um, you know, different energies you can pull on for different things. And I feel like now you're understanding that that is the energy you can pull on and do something different than what you've been doing it with. 
you can do something a little bit more creative with yeah here we go with the ace of pentacles you can do something to get some money with it do something that makes you more stable what were the two cards on top of that the four of cups and the knight of swords so with this i'm getting take your time with it we have the moon and the four of wands at the bottom so it may you may not see when you're going to be happier but take your time to at least find out if you may be trying to do it like some of those uh what do they call it like if you're a guy, like, you may be trying to do, like, that semen retention stuff. If you are, uh, you know, a female, it may be, like, you may not be fingering or nothing for a minute. Let me see. Yeah, Nine of Cups and the High Priestess. Yeah, I feel like you're really putting your energy and your emotions and your... Your attention? I don't even know what you want to call it. Like, you're just putting your energy towards honing your intuition. That's that's really what it is. You're putting your energy towards honing your intuition, towards doing it. And it was so, it's like it's been a long time coming because you've been so. Somebody here has just been so used to thinking or so stuck in this, like controlling as. Like I feel like you want to have control over the way you live your life, and you are like. You want to have it, but you're not seeing that you currently do. You already do. You're just misusing it. Mm -hmm. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Six, six. Okay. Um, You're not... I had a reading a while ago for Pisces Lilith uh, placement where it was that... And look, we got the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups on this split here. Um, where it was like, you want balance, but you weren't giving it. I feel like it's this. This is this, is this again. And I feel like you're coming to understanding that you of oh, maybe what it is that you're actually giving out because you're seeing what you're getting back. So now you're being more conscious as to what you're actually putting out or what ha what you have put out in the past. Yeah. Being conscious to what you have put out and understanding that, you know, okay, so I can still do stuff, and I can I can just have to use this energy for different things. Yeah, we got these back up again. So, uh, I just need to think first, or um, really, I wouldn't even say weigh options. It's not even weighing options. It's more like, okay, so what is the better use of my time and my energy of, of my uh, attention right now? Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's better focus on changing with this death card. It's better focus on changing, especially getting out of this nine of swords. If you're in a depressive mode right now, I can feel that for some of you. We have nine of wands, ten of wands, and the king of wands. Yeah, you trying to pretend like you're not hurt has really, like, it has hurt you more, to be honest. You trying to pretend like you're not hurt by something has kind of really hurt you more. Please do subscribe, y'all. Please do subscribe. But that's really the energy I'm feeling. Is that trying to... With this Nine of Wands and this Ten of Wands, trying to hide the burden has really, like, hit the confidence. Mm hmm With this Three of Cups. I feel like you... In the tower. Yeah. Something may have happened during a party or during a celebration or... Um, during some sort of event, that was like a tower moment for you. Mm -hmm. We will investigate that into the extended. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Hoo, hoo. Got my oracle cards ready. If you do want to get these shadow spells I was talking about, oh, look, what pulled up at the top. I'm a master manifester. I manifest effortlessly. Um, the links for my site is in the description box below, the living shadow dot me. The Living Shadow dot me. You can go pick this up. Also, click down my other links. I do have a podcast, um, the Shadow Cast, where I talk about different various lessons that I've learned. I do have a store where you can buy not only this but crystals. This manifestation book right here, um, a whole bunch of other stuff, and uh, yeah, I have a bath box, awakening bath box. It's good for spiritual baths. I have a lot of different things. So just check out all my links. Down in there, check out my socials, check out Shadow Subliminals, check out everything. Just check it out, 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 check it out. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> <laughs>